And welcome back to Archives of Fabella Daily, the podcast making a climb in a magical world. Today is December 30th, equal to Capricorn 9th. Books are available on Amazon. Please rate and review the podcast on iTunes, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And hit that subscribe button for more great stories right in your feed. December 30th, 1813 AD is the date British soldiers burn Buffalo, New York, in the War of 1812. But in the magical winterland of Fabella, a failed mountaineer's end had more secrets than initially revealed. I'm Dylan Foley, and this is Archives of Fabella. Beyond our world, there is love. Beyond our world, there is war. Beyond our world, there is life. Beyond our world, there is Fabella. Capricorn 9th, 58, 13, FY, Fabella year, equal to December 30th, 1813, AD, Earth year. It's the machine age in Fabella, best known as the steampunk period of the magical world. A crowd has gathered at the docks to celebrate the impending return of the famous fawn mountaineer Harlan Cross. Harlan Cross is one of the most extraordinary explorers of the 5800s. He is very well known, and he has successfully summited five of the twelve tallest mountains in Fabella. For four years, Harlan Cross has been preparing to be the first to reach the summit of Mount Vertex, the world's tallest mountain. With an elevation of 10,382 meters, it's taller than Mount Everest. On Capricorn 9th, a crowd assembles in Camelot, eager to learn if he has succeeded. There is that expectation that people are going to hear about his mission to summit Mount Vertex. This is an exciting moment. But when Harlan Cross's airship pulls up at the airport, the assembled throng are met with tragic news. Harlan Cross is dead. The crowd is shocked to see that only five survivors of the Cross expedition make their return to Camelot, and Harlan Cross is not present. So where is Harlan Cross, and what happened to him? The surviving expedition members claim that Cross had perished in a storm on his way up to Mount Vertex, but something about their story doesn't add up. Doubt begins to swirl that the expedition survivors aren't telling the truth. Rising suspicion from the authorities causes one of the survivors to come forward to tell the truth. The survivor, who requests to remain anonymous, reveals that Harlan Cross didn't freeze to death on the mountain. He was murdered. A storm did indeed hit Mount Vertex on the team's ascent, but it was minor, and no members of their party died. Still, the threat posed by the storm was enough for the team to demand that they turn around. Harlan Cross was obsessed with reaching the summit. It was made clear to everyone involved that he valued obtaining his place in history over the team. One day, they discovered that Harlan Cross was hiding a cache of food and was secretly sharing it with a group of his favorite expedition members. Furious, the survivors mutinied. They seized Cross and forced him and his supporters to jump to their deaths. When Cross refused, he was killed with an ice axe to the head. The survivors then made the slow journey back to Camelot. Upon hearing the tale, 
All of the survivors are arrested and sentenced to life in prison for premeditated murder. Numerous expeditions are launched afterwards on Mount Vertex to find Harlan Cross's body. But he is never found, doomed to remain a ghost on the mountain forever. That's going to do it for us today. Subscribe now to get more new episodes right in your feed. Rate and review the podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Send your questions to archivesoffabella at gmail.com. Archives of Fabella is created, produced, and hosted by Dylan Foley with music by Garrett Ferris and audio blocks. Books are available on Amazon in ebook and paperback. As always, look outside of what is possible and think about what might be.